Hello out there, we are on the air. I'm going to send out the path signal proper quick and then we will do it to it. Get things started. This will take a healthy uh, two minutes if uh, those of you watching after the fact feel like hitting that old fast forward, by all means, no offense will be taken. You'll miss nothing. One link posted. Hey, hey, Dice. Welcome, welcome. Indeed, yes. Uh, I'm just sending out the uh, the links right now, and then we're getting things going. How are you doing today, my man? Thank you again. Uh, shout out to Dice, who has been an absolute gem in helping with the commissioning. Oh, God, that's definitely not how to word that. Uh, with the commissioner duties of this league. There we go. Good save. The Adam Silver to my David Stern. I like you too much to call you my Gary Bettman. But uh, I had an unfortunate uh, work scheduling thing yesterday, and he came through in the clutch, hitting the advance to keep all of us on schedule. So... A hat tip to your magnificence, Dice. Doing the old sound check. Hopefully, if my damn phone uh, picks up the pace here. There we go. And I just overheard myself on uh, the delay. Landon, welcome, welcome. So, uh, Cardinals managed to escape unscathed with practice injuries. Then Browns, not quite as lucky. Um... They are out Keenan, who is the second left end on the depth chart. So not a great uh, loss there. And actually, the Browns are healthier than they've been in weeks. I'm expecting a Cardinals win, but uh, this could be a lot closer and more interesting than it appears on first glance. I think I actually checked and have the proper kick returners in for both teams. Make sure the settings are right. Kick, yes. Dallas offense, San Francisco defense, because I'm a basic boy, and it never stopped being 1994. <laughs> Landon's saying it's not going to be close. But look, we're in beautiful huh, Cleveland. It's the mistake by the lake. I think that is their old stadium. Oh, Emerson's up to five picks this year. Well done. There's the big fella, six foot eight. 200-something pounds. Jumbo Murdoch. And listen to those good boys barking in the background. You guys see what I mean? Cleveland is just a fun experience in Madden. Outdoors, interesting atmosphere, ambiance. The crowd has slightly different chanting sweet toque on the coach put the pom-pom on I'm feeling you there there's the man the fullback so honestly looking at the bottom of the screen is the first I'm seeing of a lot of the results um Damn, I did not realize uh, you lost such a tight one to the Packers there, Landon. That is uh, tough, unless you're pivoting and are okay getting them sweet, sweet high picks. Oh, you'll be at dinner when we advance? All good, Dice. Um, just a heads up for you guys. I am trying to plan a way to basically... I think when, for the Monday advance, we'll do two days. Oh, Landon saying that loss made him very mad. But uh, because Game 7, Stanley Cup Finals, got to watch that. And a big sack on the first play of the game for Isaiah Simmons. Probably the defensive player I mentioned the least, but 
He nonetheless. Uh, real life six overall pick by the Cardinals a few years ago. He seems to be a bust despite having a body on loan from God. That makes it sound like I think he's super handsome. I have no opinion on that matter. You like what you like. But um, he's like 6'3", has 93 speed, 95 excel if memory serves. Oh, good boy, Snoop. Big sack on Jumbo. And they're going to have to punt. It's a three and out. Tackle at number 10 on the 10. Landon Packers had no offense the whole game, and then a kick return fumble. Oh, on what would have been the game-winning drive. And Packers score. Oh, that is tough. So sorry to hear that, bud. Losing close ones by some BS, especially late in the game BS, always stings. The ice bear just puts his shoulder into the man. I believe that's Najee Elliott, number 20 on the Browns. It's nice. It might sound like a competent commentator because I actually know most of the players on both these squads. Jiggles Jake Taylor having a great start to the year. Great first half. I guess we're at that point where we're in the back half of the season. Browns playoff hopes very much alive, but uh, the NFC West has been very unkind to them. Cardinals hoping to continue that little three-yard pickup. Finding the rookie, Lawrence Jefferson. The Law. Yes, I did rename him Lawrence to give him the nickname The Law after we determined. Or I just feel like that's such a cool nickname. Ah, oh. And the former Brown, Wyatt Teller, being like, I got family here. I'm going to go visit them, guys. Okay, his day's not done. I assume the worst. That's cool. So the rookie Everett will be in his place. Oh, that's nice. Ice Bear is gone. Touchdown, Cardinals. And after the Ice Bear only played about three snaps of the last game before getting hurt, that is very nice for him. Looks like Najee got hung up on, well, whoever 23 is. Guess I don't know the team that well. Big TD for the Ice Bear. Point after attempt for Dicker. Kicks up. Kick is good. Make it seven to nothing for the good guys. And Slim is just going to kneel. That uh, OP McAfee kick was too deep in the end zone. So Murdoch will take another stab at it. Starting at the Browns 25. Batted down by Hamlin, and Nance had a step. Ben Nance, um, yes, uh, before I took control of the Browns, I the Cardinals drafted him, so slight revenge game. He never played a game for the Cardinals, being traded for a third-round pick. I believe the third-round pick that actually turned into um, Hingle McCringleberry, our super-fast uh, rookie wide receiver. Who is normal dev, so it is what it is. And batted down by Swerve. Big pressure. He applies. No first down and oh, kind of a mismatch height-wise. Coffee and Swerve there. See Coffee number seven. Bit of a hat tip to... And there's a flag because a fumbled punt. Never means an actual block, it means you're diving head first into the kicker's kneecap. Can you tell that I've watched this game too much for the last three years? Oh, Simmons. Damn that 93 speed. <laughs> this league is soft, says Dice. Yeah, I, I wish I understood maybe the reason that happens, like... I see that at least three times a year. Now, mind you, I control three teams, so maybe I'm seeing it more than I should. It happens more than you'd think. And it's any time I've never seen a blocked punt. I think I've seen two blocked field goals across the last like couple games. But man, the number of penalties on kickers is wild. First down gotten there by Fowler. 
So with a fresh set of downs and excellent field position, the Browns could turn what was looking like a three and out into some points. The rookie Cedric Woodley getting a first down 11 yard carry. Landon has seen a blocked punt. Thank you for sharing. Dice, I thought I had a partial block two days ago. Turns out uh, it was a combination of strong winds and a bad punter. Ah! Oh, yeah, weather games, the punts uh, get crazy. Oh, and Murdoch immediately takes a sack from the good boy. a boy, Snoop. Yikes, so the player named after my dog and my wife tackled the player named after my dad, kinda. Huh. Don't know how to feel about all this. Conflict. And Slim gets tackled after a nice pickup of about 10. Brought down by Danielson. 76 was like, nah, I'm not blocking him. Let him find an LB. <laughs> Good call, Dice. And Snoop with his third sack of the day. And I'm just noticing now, um, so I guess it's registering Danielson's X-Factor and not uh, Snoop's, because Snoop is a, an X-Factor, obviously. He's my best player, and yet he's showing his superstar dev on field. What a kick by... So this is embarrassing. I think it's Groupie. I didn't watch enough Saints games to know how to pronounce the man's name, you know? Classic uh, casual fantasy football player. So the Browns put points on the board. Ooh, and they managed to tackle the ice bear there. Groupie sucks, says Landon. <laughs> hey, you know, you're the Saints fan. You actually watched uh, several of their games. Should have kept Lutz. Ah, well, Lutz is very good, though. Like, I can understand being a little upset there. And Brees, ah, uh, he was so close to being a Cardinal, but in the ultimate uh, power move, had to veto my own trade to myself. The trade was going to be D'Angelo Connor um, and Isaiah Hopkins for Brees. Number 96, superstar D-tackle. So yeah, I might have to address that Snoop thing after the game. O'Shea picking up 10 or more on the carry, gets the first down. First... Big carry for O'Shea on the day. Ah, Landon having some success with the Jags. Dicing it can wait a week. Oh, right, right, the Browns. Well, the bright side, though, that will remove it from Danielson. Also doesn't seem to be hurting Snoop. Musgrave. Oh, with the catch and a little bit of pinballing, keeps him upright, and he gets the first down. It's better to be lucky than good. As we're right around midfield. Ooh, coffee swing time. Nice tackle by JOK. Stopping O'Shea at the line of scrimmage, which is no small feat. He is a big, beefy boy. Oh, as he just took a man out of his cleats on the five-yard pickup. So third and five, but at the 46, kind of no man's land. Let's see. Uh, obviously, they have to pass. I'd be excited to see what happens if they didn't convert, but I'm much happier with Musgrave converting there. Fresh set of downs right at the 40, and we are just on the outskirts of Dicker range. Oh, O'Shea just kind of got eaten up there. So a great job by the Browns on uh, some of these run plays. This is so weird. I feel like if I compliment either team, I'm just, like, complimenting myself. Oh, that was it. Just missed uh, his target. Musgrave was wide open. It was the right man to pass it to. Just zinged it in there a little too quick. So hoping for at least three yards to guarantee... Oh, I was going to say guarantee uh, Dicker range, but the Ice Bear picks up a first down and a chunk. I want to say 26-yard gain on the catch. And on two catches, he is 75 yards wide open. Where's the coverage? You 
Peterson on the tackle. Patterson? I should probably know that. Found a hole in cover three. Wow. Dice, I'm impressed. I definitely, um, and like, I played football, but I was a filthy lineman. So I do not really know the coverage, uh, especially the zone coverage stuff too well. I know my holes on offense. <laughs> That's a thing. Oh, and the Ice Bear gets his second TD of the game. One of those Debo Samuel Tyreek Hill catches where it's just a little check down and he does all the work after the fact. Jeez, was that even a forward pass? Barely. The blocks were there. The lane was open. Make it seven. Well, six. Hoping for seven. Cameron? Cameron? Can't. Attaboy. That looked like it was going wide. Coffee will kneel again. Really happy that we scored that before the second quarter. I assume flipping the sides of the field will mean Coffee brings it out in uh, the next quarter. And he is a threat. For zone, the number is basically how many safeties you effectively have. Ah, thank you, Dice. Cover three. Oh. Well, I missed uh, part of what you said, but I think I caught the gist. Eight-yard pickup for CMC. Nicely done. And the Browns still have negative passing yards as a result of taking all the sacks. CMC, gain of one. Aaron Donald on the tackle. Cover three is two corners and a safety playing back. Very good. Okay. That's a big help. That'll end the first quarter. Your score is 14 to 3 here from surprisingly sunny Cleveland. Third and one, empty backfield, so we will see what Jumbo can do. And they convert, finding Fowler. I always want to call him Dexter Fowler. It's Quincy Fowler. But uh, the baseball fan in me just cannot, uh, cannot quit saying Dexter Fowler. And imagine a name like Fowler not being on one of the 900 bird teams. Apparently no gain. Tayshawn Leonard on the, ha the hit there. Pardon me. Coffee completes the catch. Gain of only four, though, as Tariq Woolen was all over him. Third and four. So Murdoch's been a bit of a check down merchant early here. He'll have to do a little more daring a pass here. That'll do. Finding Coffee, who had to leap up in the air to make the catch there. First down on the Cardinal side of the field now. Oh, gain of four for Coffee. Uh, sidebar. Further chronicling me having the musical taste of a 15 year old girl, uh, I cannot get that espresso song out of my head. Like, I'm trying very hard not to hum it this entire stream. Oh my god, what were you thinking? So much movement and, like, two fakes. Snoop just enveloped coffee. And they keep showing Derrick Henry on the bench. Wearing 26 for our team as uh, Tiny Stolars did wear 22 when he was with us. I didn't sing anything! Whoa! Murdoch just broke a Snoop tackle. Oh, Dice saying my first copyright strike and Landon rightfully laughing at me for having a Sabrina Carpenter song in my head. If it helps to prove I am a pushing 40-year-old man, I have no idea who she is. And Groupie on point. Now an eight-point game. But yes, Sabrina Carpenter is the singer. And I heard the song like a week before I actually saw what she looked like because later on I'm like, okay, I need to hear this to get it out of my head. Put on the YouTube video. Did not expect a woman that looked to be the size of Tinkerbell. Like, oh my God, that is a tiny girl. 
not judging. I mean, hell, people would look at me and be like, oh, who's this Andre the Giant relative? So, no offense intended. I look like a bag of wet garbage. Trust me. Just, I was surprised. I, I didn't expect that appearance for The Voice. It didn't match what was in my head. That's what I'm saying. Ayuk first down as I should stop talking about people's appearances. My God, just dig that hole. Amir Hurwitz getting his first catch of the day, six yard gain. The Jake and Amir connection is strong. The handoff to O'Shea. Oh, nice job. Did not getting juked there by Crutchfield. Gain of only two. Landon saying, I'm young, so I knew her from Disney. I didn't realize she was one of the, uh, I assume, from one of the TV shows. I had the same experience with Olivia Rodrigo. Um, I had no idea beforehand. I think the last... Um, Young star that became a popular singer I'm aware of was Demi Lovato. But I also didn't watch what she did. I just knew she existed. Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry. Ariana Grande. I think Ariana Grande became a famous singer after Lovato. And um, at the bus stop in front of my house in Toronto, there was this massive advertisement for this show called Sam and Cat. So every day I would go home from uh, cutting clips of the Kansas City Royals against the uh, Astros or some crap and just see that. Musgrave first down. Can you tell I don't feel like talking about video football today? 7-2. to two. The Giants getting a safety. Good for them. Play action. Oh, intercepted, and that is Emerson, I believe. Lansing, he grew up on Sam and Cat and Victorious, right? Victorious is the other show Ariana Grande was on, right? Yeah, that's a sexy pick. Emerson's sixth interception of the year, and I think the sixth interception thrown by Jiggles. Nice job. Just jump in the lane on Ayuk there as well. All right, so confirmed, uh, I guess... Uh, my knowledge of Disney and Nickelodeon shows from a decade ago is not as bad as it probably should be. I think that'll count as a, uh, a run. Not sure if they'll count it as a sack. Zone read to lurch. <laughs> Good call, Dice. And Aaron Donald just envelops uh, Christian McCaffrey. No gain on the second straight bizarre choice of run. Third and ten. Jumbo's going to have to, you know, chuck this. Oh, my. What is this? Maybe plant your feet, Hoss. I mean, that, that was neat to see the arc that took, but uh, I think he threw that into the sixth row. Oh my god, I thought that was going to be another roughing the kicker penalty. The Ice Bear calls the fair catch, and it's only a 58-yard journey to the end zone. So no damage from the uh, interception, but uh, some hurt feelings, I'm sure. Jiggles being like, ah, damn it. Oh, O'Shea. Nice run, pickup of nine there. He's back. Words are hard as he is back over four yards per carry in this weird hit and miss uh, thing he's doing right now. Nice gain of six there for O'Shea. So back to back solid runs. That'll take us to the two minute warning as this has been a bit of a sprint. Probably a lot of running plays. 43 yards out from the end zone. Batted down. Nagielli. Oh, no, they're giving credit, I think, to Emerson. I'll say it again. One of my other catchphrases, it appears. Maybe don't throw to that guy. 
Oh my god. Jiggles. Man is looking shook right now, and this is not field goal range. This is Dicker misses, and they take over from the logo range. So you need some yards, if not a first down. Okay, possession catch to not get the first down. Fourth and one. Oh, O'Shea nearly tackled in the backfield, and a killer juke gets the first. Indeed, Dice, that was a big lack of awareness for whoever caught that ball for a nine-yard game. It all worked out, though. What a throw and catch. That was on the money. Make it first and goal, eight yards out. Chamberlain on the tackle. Just going right back to it. Oh, no, that's Hingle McCringleberry. I think his first career TD. I think that's partly Ayuk just being a beast, uh, though, Dice. Uh, Dice saying he wishes his receivers could catch through contact. Like, if that was Hurwitz, he would have thrown that ball six feet in the air. So, a yeah, nice over-the-shoulder Willie Mays-style catch from McCringleberry. Make it 21 to 6, and I believe there's about 45 seconds, 49 seconds uh, remaining in the half. So a nice bit of clock management there by the cards. Uh-oh, Slim's taking it out, though. Big tackle by Solomon Mayo, who I always want to call OG, OJ Mayo. <laughs> Watch I start calling him OG Mayo. O.J. Mayo was a uh, NBA player about 15 years ago, uh, which is probably the most delicious sounding name possible. Mind you, I can't picture many scenarios I want mayonnaise and orange juice at the same time. Maybe a breakfast sandwich. That's about it. Not a big mayonnaise guy. I get it. I like it. I don't love it, though. Murdoch at least gets the ball off before being destroyed by Snoop for, like, the fourth time today. CMC with a nice run there. Cardinals call a timeout to try and uh, keep the foot on the gas here. The Ice Bear will have a shot to return. He is brought down at the 36. Uh, is this a doubleheader? Um, not via stream, but I will do the 49ers-Steelers uh, game and post in game chat. I just don't have an account set up on either of my alts, unfortunately. I should probably do that. Oh, broke it up. There we go. Musgrave couldn't hold on. And one of the, like, six players named Brown on my team uh, on the breakup. Dice, what about... Oh, you, you meant Cardinals doubleheader. Ah, uh, I feel, I feel. Hmm. Most likely not, um, but I, I'll definitely be streaming it tomorrow. Probably around the same time, and hey, that's going to be a punt. Three and out, as the Browns do an excellent job there. Which will give Slim the chance to uh, wreak havoc, potentially. Maybe Sky this kick, uh, OP? Never mind, Leonard's there. Leonard is there! Dropping them at the 14. Oh, adding to the list of guys I have to trade for 80 cents on the dollar because uh, I just don't have cap space. But uh, Tayshaun Leonard will not be long for uh, the Cardinals after this year. I would like to get something back for him rather than have another season of him and watch him walk. So, uh, bit of a stomping here between the Cardinals and the Browns. The Browns have impressed me at moments. That three and out was nice. If memory serves, uh, yes, Cardinals will receive to start the second half. I forget when I'm not, uh, when I do, can't put the T, the. 
when my own team is on uh, autopilot, they're going to choose to receive. So no matter what team I'm controlling, they will receive in the second half. Jingles completes it to the ice bear. Pick of about 13, I'd say. Who, ice bear's already at seven catches for 125 on the day. What a game already. And O'Shea has a lane. Oh, no, don't. Don't you dare. Stop it. On the take. Brandon! Someone's doing sprints. Oh, Musgrave, break a tackle, why don't you? Hell yeah. Dice saying stream tomorrow this time is good for him. Hell yeah. Plenty of time to do scouting tests. <gasps> right, you know what? I forgot. Um, it's a big scouting week next week. So yeah, for sure. I'm not looking to rush anybody. Because that is important business. First down for Hurwitz. Jake and Amir. Jake and Amir. And maybe a drop. Maybe he threw it at the man's shins. And that is complete. I believe Brandon Ayuk on the catch. First down. Indeed it was up to the 20. Fullback is in play. And wouldn't you know it's a 10 yard plus gain when they have the fullback out there. And O'Shea will walk into the end zone. Nine-yard carry, touchdown score. Cardinals go up 27-6. to six. Dicker for the extra point. Count it, 28-6. Oh, Slim nearly had a seam. Instead, brought down at the 26, and Murdoch pressures on, my guy. Hand off to Woodley, nothing doing. Stopped at the line of scrimmage by Young. They'll switch backs. CMC on the field now. Oh, Ben Nance doing his own Musgrave impression. So yeah, that's, I guess, the interesting thing. I drafted Nance, um, same offseason I traded for Musgrave, and then basically made the choice to go Musgrave instead of Nance and traded him to the Browns. That might count as a run, in fact. Oh, no, no, that's completion. Just no gain on uh, quick screen to coffee. And Murdoch just had to get the ball off as he was uh, hit while throwing. I believe that was Snoop all up in his shit again. I really am having a hard time censoring myself today. What is wrong with me? Apologies if anyone is bothered by that. And it looks like the Browns are going to have to punt. You know, I am happy with how... The, God, I feel like that's the third time that uh, it's almost been a penalty. In addition to the time it actually was. So make it a touchback. Looks like uh, an extra tight end on the field in uh, the law. Number 84 there. 
After switching uh, the tight end's alignment, Musgrave on the catch, pick up a five. Little check down action. Damn it. And Jiggles again, getting saucy. Ayuk will run it out of bounds, deciding, you know what, I don't need to take a hit. Let's prolong this career. First down at the Cardinals 37. Intercepted. Emerson again, his second of the day, seventh on the year. The former Brown, Wyatt Teller, avoiding the pick six by cutting him in half. And this will be excellent field position as you hear the, them dogs barking. That's a second crazy pick for Emerson today. Jump in the lane on Hurwitz. So no turnovers for the Browns, two for the Cards. I think Jiggles had five interceptions going in, Landon. Um, but yes, it was definitely not many. It was no more than five. It was between three and five. Batted down. Haku, oh, and his hair is getting very frizzy on this day. Must be hot in Cleveland in November. Okay. I am excited for the snow games coming up as, man, Snoop is on point. As he just leans on Murdoch, makes him think about it. You want to call yourself the big man, Murdoch? I'm a defensive end that they can stick a tackle because I'm a big boy. And that will force the punt, taking them out of field goal range. Extra clutch. You know, because I, I need to keep the lead where... Oh, what a punt! Oh, that was gorgeous. I want to frame that and put it on my wall. Hmm. Pin us at the two. We got the fullback out here, though. Ooh, but it's only a ploy. And it's a pass to the fullback. Jimbo Jane, three yards on the reception. Bears versus Raiders saw three coffin corners in a row. That's amazing. Raiders have a really good puncher, though, if memory serves. How? How did the Ice Bear come down with that? And uh, Jiggles, can you maybe chill with the crazy uh, throws? Wow, Ice Bear's so big that you couldn't see the second uh, defensive back on that camera angle. Only when he came down did you see a brown jersey behind him like a shadow. And Jiggles just signed to get rid of it. I think yet to be hit on the... Wow, did I say that out loud like a fool? Indeed. And O'Shea able to pick up four on the carry. Make it third and six. Jiggles has better condition than the other guy with long hair. Yes. Sanoa um, definitely needs to hit that Pantene Pro V. Oh, Musgrave. Wow, what a seam. What a throw. Gets it through the drive through window. Oh. Damn. I knew I hit the button. So from a risk of punting to field goal range. Nine-yard pickup for O'Shea there. Musgrave on the reception, another first down. Move those chains, baby. Cardinals now over 400 total yards on the day. Musgrave at uh, eight catches for one shy of 70 yards. 
Try and say nice to that. Oh! Sweet Sassy Molassi, Amir Hurwitz! Laying out! I mean, guy's like 5'9", so... The length of his body's not insane, but man, he needed every inch of that frame to make that catch. And no replay for that. Wild. Musgrave somehow holds on for two yards. What a pittance. But, uh, oh, pardon me, that was Jimbo Jane, the fullback. With hands of... Don't know how to finish that, so nothing. And Jiggles knew he was about to eat some uh, dirt, so... Just chucks it out of bounds as hard as he can. Third and goal from the four. Touchdown. That's OG Mason on the reception. The 5'5 five, five, uh, fullback. Who I drafted because he's the shortest player I've ever seen in the draft. And he wound up being star depth. He's actually solid. He, he gets snaps for me on the regular. Dicker looking to make it a 35-6 to six score. Success. Most likely the last play of the quarter. Wow, a 97-yard drive. Did not remember that. Right, we got coffin cornered. Let's see if Slim uh, brings it out. Indeed he will. And unfortunately for him, immediately brought down by Swerve. Wow, 57 total yards, Browns. Are you kidding me? This is actually much worse than it seemed. Fourth quarter time. Looking like garbage time, if we're being completely honest here. And Slim manages to make the catch. Murdoch thread the needle there. Nicely done. Nine-yard pickup. Right? I don't know how, like, how he held on. He might not have conditioner, but he has hands. And he has points. Haku Sanoa. Get yourself some. Touchdown, Cardinals. First turnover of the day by the Browns, and it was a costly one. And who... Okay, that was intended for Slim. But, uh, wow, just really threw it right at him. Make it 42 to 6. Browns will get the ball right back. And I think now that the field is flipped, McAfee will probably kick this too deep into the end zone. Likely no returns uh, for the fourth quarter. And I'm an idiot and a fool. Wow, that was that was the punter. That was McAfee, number 23, who made the tackle. That was the last man that could have stopped. Like, I think 98 or 99 speed Slim Coffee from taking it to the house. For what would, I think would have been his fourth or fifth kick return TD on the year. Man is just out of control. Haku wanted a hit there. Finding Aldridge, who's back off the uh, injured list after missing five weeks. Broken up. There's Data, Wakabayashi, who I extended for five more years because uh, when you win a franchise's first ever Super Bowl, you got to keep the MVP. It's just bad form not to. Incomplete. Later, Dice. Have a great night and looking forward to our game tomorrow. Thank you for coming. Oh, my God, they're going for it. Number two in takeaways because of the Chargers. I believe that. Data is trying to murder one of the Browns staff members. Somebody get the android under control. Like, what was that cutscene? Imagine me calling that a cutscene. <laughs> so this field position is just like, here, uh, take the points, please. 
OG Mason with the carry and the little fella getting 11 yards. I think he was just hiding behind blockers there. And I am so entertained by the size of his player model. Just filled with glee and mirth. Musgrave holds on to it for that one yard, an important yard, clearly. Second and nine. That does give Musgrave a clean 70 yards on the day, though. Hurwitz holds on there. Picks up eight. I did not realize the Browns were a top 10 defense until today. Empty backfield on third and one. Okay. Mason, as he gets killed by being headbutt there, but gets the first down on like a two yard catch. Odin on the uh, hit there. So eight yards away, first and goal for the cards. And O'Shea. Let's see who the flag's on. Who? Jimbo. The fullback? No, that clearly that is just a blown call by the officials. At least we get the double stack out here. My favorite offensive formation to see. I mean, it's often successful, but it's mostly just, it's so weird looking. So second and goal now, back at the eight yard line. It's play action. Wow! Touchdown, Brandon Ayuk. I thought that was going to be a, the third pick for Emerson there. And it's the kid and play kick dance. I think that was Ludwig Walter. Oh my god, all over Ayuk there. Wow, what a throw, what a catch. Fifth passing TD of the day for uh, Jiggles. Make it 49 points. Browns with only 67 yards on the day. Still almost eight minutes left, though. Gain of three. Completes the pass. CMC's second catch of the day. Ooh, gets a nice completion there to Fowler. Interception, wow. And Leonard giving a gift and just strolling out of bounds instead of possibly taking that to the house. Yeah, clearly that was a low IQ play there. He just said, I'm throwing it to Nance no matter what. He was covered completely there. O'Shea blown right up there by Christian Wilkins. Loss of three. Nice gang tackling there. Pick up a five. The Ice Bear uh, closes the gap, making it now a third and eight. Really, running play. And Shaq Odin is hurt. What? Well, you're up by 43 points. You don't need to go for it on fourth down. And you dirty dog, you succeeded. Tenth catch of the day for the Ice Bear. 
huge game for him. And O'Shea staying upright. Gain of about seven is Wyatt Teller hurt for the second time on the day. He's taking a little Gatorade break as someone holds his hand. And that stops the clock, unfortunately, for clock killing purposes. Wide open Luke Musgrave there. First down. And the clock is back moving on the eight yard pickup. I form out there and not a run. Instead, a three yard pass to Brandon Ayuk. The number of passes have been crazy this game. I don't know why uh, the Cardinals are not running more here. What? I don't think that's going to stand. If so, what an insane catch for Hurwitz. And Hurwitz has no abilities. That's his second crazy dive of the day. Oh, no, he dragged the toes before taking the air. Oh, my God, what a catch. Nearly a blocked extra point. Make it 56 to 6. I don't know whether to be proud or embarrassed because these are both of my teams. Just completely blown up there. All right, let's see what you guys can do. Three and a half minutes. Can you get over 100 yards in the day, Brown? Nope. What is happening? Third pick of the day. Third pick of the quarter, I think. Swerve on the INT there. As Murdoch has fallen apart. Like he just missed his target. Fowler's just there, wide open. Watches the ball go into the uh, defender's hands. Empty backfield, no sportsmanship for the CPU here. Again passing, and again succeeding, like three yards for Ayuk there. Another pass. And, wow, touchdown Brandon Ayuk. I think that's his third of the day. This is wild. <laughs> to make it 63 to 6. Still with just over two minutes left. So efficient. Oh, what a juke by uh, Slim. Caught him leaning. And that one's broken up. Murdoch now under 50% on the game as he has really fallen to bits here. Completes the pass. I think they'll say Fowler got out of bounds there. Indeed, clock stopped. Make it third and one. Nearly picked off, and they will opt to punt here. I guess deciding, okay, you know, 70 points is embarrassing. 
So likely it'll be a few running plays, and that should do it. Wow, Wilkins with the TFL takes down O'Shea. And O'Shea able to pick up 10 on there, getting over 100 yards on the ground today and activating his X Factor. Perfect timing, too, for the last play of the game. And I think that is a loss of yardage, fascinatingly enough. The Law with his second catch of the day. And these crazy people are actually going to punt the ball instead of letting the clock run out. Maybe there is sportsmanship, giving Slim another opportunity. Wow, I'd be embarrassed if I was the Browns owner. Absolute battering, 63 to 6. Jiggles was incredible, 42 of 54 for 431. The two picks, definitely a black eye, but seven touchdowns, craziness. Murdoch, 16 of 33 for 107, ooh, and three picks, ooh. Oh, that'll hurt CMC's numbers on the year. Only uh, five carries, 21 yards. O'Shea, 21 carries for 103 and a score. The Ice Bear, 159 yards, two TDs. Brandon Ayuk, 94 yards, two TDs. Musgrave, 11 for 86. Hurwitz, 5 for 68 and a score. Fowler, 5 for 47. Coffee, 6 for 39. And really just uh, the rest. McCringleberry's one catch was a touchdown. Yeah, Snoop was uh, was king today, basically. And wow, no field goals. Dicker was nine for nine on extra points. Craziness. Seven passing TDs, one rushing, and the pick six. Ah, only four sacks for the team on the day. Do you have any post-game stuff to do? No, I do not. Well, you could have been anywhere else in the world, chose to spend it with us. I appreciate that. The Cardinals appreciate that. Honestly, the Browns appreciate it too. Take care. See you all later. Uh, I'll be streaming the Cardinals versus the Bears tomorrow around the same time. Uh, in the meantime, keep fit, have fun, keep sweet.